All right. Good morning. Good day. Welcome back to the African Crypto Wallet Show. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we will be looking into Bitcoin, and uh, I'll be showing you my challenge. So let me start off with my challenge. Uh, load up. There we are. All right. So I, I've set myself a challenge for the next 24 months. Um, I'm currently just shy of 16 days into it. And the general challenge is to do objective, make 1% per day trading Bitcoin for a duration of two years. Okay. So my starting balance was $585. And on the 3rd of May, it was 695 But as of today, it is 724.5. So I think that is like a rough 20, just call it just shy of 25% increase in 16 days. So this is what you'd be looking at maybe i should zoom in here so you guys can see uh, okay i think it's not going to do that anyway uh the general observation is i'm going to start at 585 and i'm maybe 40 dollars away from this target and still got another 14 days to go so it's very doable and hopefully rolling into next month just a little higher than that uh, my expectations are a little higher than 1% a day at the current moment. But yeah, and halfway through this year, so 12 months from now, that should be a 14 grand Bitcoin account or USD account trading Bitcoin. And at the end of the 24 month cycle, there should be $342,000. All right, so that's my Bitcoin challenge. I'll keep you guys updated about it. But let me tell you why your favorite YouTuber is going to get liquidated and like and subscribe all that bullshit please let's get into this okay and back to the charts all right we will do usdt last i'm going to do this observation for myself we have a three hour target that i have to hit myself in the bucket shop over here and let's smash it the 21 day just printed today um and my general observation has always been, as it's taken about four years to learn, when the RO is red, it's fucking red on the 21 day. Okay? Meaning it's bearish. Now, we can be wise and try to be a smart ass and look for anything that's going to counter that. But as this thing's just printed, I would rather give it seven days and then start to look for levels that are viable to counter the 21 day. Okay. Let's get to the direction of volatility. Bottom right, contracting was pretty much 98% uh, positively correlated. So that means small candles down or anything on the lower term time frames, whatever gets bought up is going to get sold into. All right. DLP is looking to mean revert over here and more than likely carry on if the 21 day carries on contracting was positively correlated with negative drift. So waiting for the signal to unwind. It could take 21 to 42 days at this region because this DLP will take another print or two until there's confirmation of a serious continuation to the downside. Okay, But in that time, volatility is uh, in the next 21 days. Not this 21 days, the next one. Uh, so 21 to 42 days from now, you have expansion of volatility and this can flick down and Bitcoin pick a fucking target guys uh anyway 14 day contracting was positively correlated also dlp is mean reverting to the downside also printed today okay so very very hard to trade today i did 600 odd trades uh made two percent very very hard so let's go look for continuation levels all right so any failing below, we have this cone on the seven day, I can show it to you later. Uh, any failing below, just call it uh, pretty much where we're at now. Let me get super good at it. So any closes below 63.51, I do look for continuation to the downside. So that's gonna keep that uh, 21 day, well, that's gonna speed the 21 day, the 14 day up to the downside, okay? Now, in the next seven days, if it does start to close above, 63,051, uh, 151. There is an opportunity here for this thing to go and try to squeeze itself back up into $67,000. Um, 
So I'll just demarcate that range for now. 63, 150 to 67, 400. Okay. Let's drop it onto three day. Three day is technically in sneaky dump mode, but there's no trend. All right. What's the trend? The entropy. When it's pink, you'll see uh, it's, well, when it goes from yellow to pink, you'll see that a trend starts. And as this thing turns back around over here, the trend starts to stop. Now, what would we be looking for here? We're going to watch this RO and this DLP on the three day. Okay. Three day also printed today. Uh, DLP does have an opportunity to mean revert. If that little yellow line gets above the DLP mean, we could look for that 67 target. Uh, if this little red line crosses the blue line, we could be looking to break back down through 63,150, I think it was. 63,000, yeah, 150. Okay, so three days, still a little bit tetchy. 24 hour. 24 hour has come up, hit an ultimate power mean, and got denied off of it. Uh, if I was to put on some levels here, we actually don't have any VRE levels up here. So DLP stopped that, okay? Now, it's mean reverting to the downside. So any closes below 65, uh, we'll call it for the next print. Any closes below 64,700, I do look for more continuation to the downside, simply put. DLP is nice. ALR is going down. These funny little things in the middle. They're uh, pretty much said sell as soon as it bounced off that thing. Okay, so a lot of slow down and a lot of small candles down looking to expand to the downside. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the 12 hour, 12 hour. Sorry if I'm speaking a little bit slow and a little bit funny. It's uh, been a very fucking hard day trying to get these scalps through. Yeah, I shared when I got that 2% today, gents and ladies. Okay. We're looking for a new trend. Anywhere from here, we are looking for a new trend. Uh, this thing is expanding, so volatility is expanding. One is positive, one is negative. Technically, it's a little bit more bearish, just off of this reading, but it's in a random walk. So it's gonna be like floating around. It's pretty much unbearable to try and scalp. It's gonna be floating around, all right? So we're gonna look for some continuation maybe tomorrow or in the next three hours from that 12 hour. Okay. I suppose if this candle was uh, pretty much where it opened at, this would have been in dump mode, okay? Again, back into a random walk. DLPs trying to put in a little, how I look at this as a little bit of a hidden drive or hidden bull div on the DLP. Green is still to the upside, this thing's trying to turn around, okay? Whole bunch of uh, hidden bear coming through, but just finished off with a bull div, regular degular bull div, all right? That bull div has right to play through, which is uh, only $100 away from current price. But you can expect that bull div to play through to the upside if you get above uh, 63,470. Okay, so now this, this six hour, the 12 hour is not going to really want that to happen for the six hour to get bullish. But I'd say the six hours maybe for the next fucking 10 hours worth of possible price action three hour is now catching positive drift all right so that's going to back the six hour positive drift is contracting volatility whilst negatively correlated it's not necessarily in a trend yet that's why i said if you do get above this ultimate power mean level here at 63.46 you will have an opportunity to continue to the upside so the three hours looking for a friend to have a trend have a side bender okay 90 minute, this is maybe till the end of the day's close or anything like that. So 90 minute, what am I looking at here? I'm looking at 50-50, there's no trend. DLP is mean reverting through, all right? So if DLP does carry on mean reverting through, it does look like we're gonna have another drive of hidden bear div, but there is an opportunity for a 63,547 target. Now that triggers a six hour into pump mode as well. And if that six hour can hold it, I look for a return back to the daily VRE or into this outside of the reverse wave tendies at $64,000, 63850 And if it's uber bullish, somewhere up here at 64417 64, Okay, let's look at the 45 minute. Are we getting some unwinding here? Looks like the DLP 45 minute is trying to play through. Let's just put a reverse wave tendy on. 
Okay, so we're at a mean. All right. A lot of noise to be had here. So this is your 63 target. And here's a 63,670 63, target. All right. I will look for continuation if we close below this region to the downside, which is our daily BRE. Those yellow lines, oh, sorry, those yellow lines do not close. Okay. Continuation to the downside, any closes below 63,829. 15 minute. 15 minute cone is on. 15 minute is technically in sneaky pump mode. Which cone will actually catch this best? Let me just do a zoom out here. We'll run. We'll run this pink one. So we'll run the top right. Let me make that big. Okay, so it's very squirmish today. Let's quantify some levels here. Oh no. There we are. All right. You hold above this blue line, you do look for an uh, immediate push pretty much back into the pink line. What stops it? This level here at 63,465, which is below the six hour pump up. 63,843. Now that's trimming off that six hour bullish signal. And if it can hold above here, well, then it's going to shoot straight into 64 rather quickly. And what's there? All right, we have a daily VRE mean. And we have a monthly VRE mean up here at the pink. All right. Now, I only get bullish on Bitcoin. It doesn't matter what time frame I'm looking at. But for this example, I'm only going to get bullish on Bitcoin if we close above, just call this weekly VRE, uh, this monthly VRE over here. But to be more scientific about it, this Laplace distribution cone. It goes from pink to pink. That's the range it wants to cover. What stops it? So it holds above this region here. You have a mean reversion, first off. That is the goal from anywhere down here. It is trying to hit the orange. But if it fails here, bear market continues. If it holds above here, hits here, a lot of signal generating to be had. Fucking annoying. If it holds above here, it's 64,850. I look for a push into a new higher high, at least in of this week, into 65,674. Now that's triggering... The 12 hour, that's triggering the 6 hour, that's triggering the 24 hour. It should even flip around quite quickly, quite drastically. But it needs to hold above, let's just call this thing, it needs to hold above this region here from 65,700 to $66,000 till fucking, till it pumps through. So that's where I'd look to cap this off if it does start to get like a ridiculous pump. Now, why am I, why, why are we looking to the upside when the mathematics is printed targets to the downside, okay? The first target is, is here. So as we can see, there's a pink line coming into a yellow line, or into the yellow. There's this outside of the cone. Technically, it's hit the blue, and it hasn't hit it down. What's that? That's all one blue it actually has. So if it fails this pink, I look for straight back down sometime this week. I'm more than likely guessing sometime this week. But you could find me here at about $61,726. Furthermore, to back this target up down here, we have an untouched daily VRE sitting at uh, $61,600. Now, that's a very, very bearish case. If we start failing these levels to the downside, so we start closing below this pink line over here pretty much, the monthly VRE mean, I honestly, I'm looking for another target at 58000 uh, 567. And yes, this thing might pump a roo and pump and just do a natural Bitcoin thing, but that's my magnet, man. That's my magnet. This thing was front run uh, quite a lot when it was printed midday, it pretty much front run it all the way to the upside. So until Bitcoin clears this, 58533, I, I don't see why Bitcoin would want to go set a new higher high. Like, uh, if you want to break through that higher high and continue up to a gazillion million fucking dollars, come down and hit this thing first. Get this cleared out of the book. Boom. And you don't have limit orders sitting down here because this game is snake. All right. So if it was to set new higher highs out of here, I do look for a touch of 58 sometime in the future in order to do that. Okay, let's just go have a look at the five minute. Not this is going to make too much of a difference, but you could see what I'm looking at. That's stuck in 50-50, back on the three-minute. 
It's losing its pump to the upside, but I'll have to define that on the two and the one. That's a sneaky pump mode, so I might want to shoot up here if it's strong enough. At least try to refill this candle. And what is our one minute saying? One minute is looking for it to hold bullish. So there's it got shooting up to that side of the candle. On the two minute, let me just show you what I was looking at. Pretty much right there. All right, closes above here. Oh, she's running. She's running. Closes above here, uh, $63,389. Sure, maybe look for a touch to $63,600. And that's what's triggering that six hour turnaround. Okay, got to carry on closing above here. There's a nice magnet that's formed here at $63,325. It's usually the pullback I'd look for somewhere in here. And yeah, let's go look at USDT dominance. We'll load this cone up. That is currently a negative drift, so that one minute should carry on pushing. Okay. Now, as dominance goes down, Bitcoin goes up. What can we see? We've got a dominance target here at 4.98%. All right. So if this does turn around and go back up there, you're going to expect Bitcoin to dump. We have a weekly untouched VRE, just like Bitcoin. The other side of the coin is this USDT dominance, and that's sitting at 5%. Okay. Furthermore, to illustrate that untouched target that we had on Bitcoin, or let me put on the 15 minute, that's a 45. This untouched target down here at 58,600 is pretty much the same target here on USDT at 5.2%. Okay, so if this thing can, it's in a negative skew right now on this coin because it's the only coin that's in the data set, but if it can, where's that orange line? If it carries on holding above this level here, this is our new monthly that we have touched. If it carries on holding above this orange line from 4.78% down to 4.76%, I do look for a mean reversion on this coin. All right, let me zoom out. Okay, even though that one coin is in negative skew, if we don't get new flashes, guess what? We're back into these untouched targets, which is that $58,000 target. And it's got a serious positive skew, this cone. So the moment it gets into this VRE level, it's just going to shoot through uh, unheeded. If you found this information helpful, please do like and subscribe. Uh, also, I wouldn't mind making $350,000 fucking dollars uh, hedging my account on a, with, with a YouTube video or two. But yeah, well done to Captain Crown over there. That's world star effort, buddy. And yeah, much power. Stay fucking wow. Catch y'all later. Um, it, it we'll have Discord links below. So all these trading tools you see here, Alpha Trading Tools, and their link is below in the video description and the, my private Discord where I can chat shit. And if you guys have any questions about how to use these fucking tools, you can just ask there, okay? Or you can ask in Alpha Chat. I'm there. I can explain to you what I'm seeing. Okay, much power, stay well, and just give a follow. Yeah. I need 2,000, and then, then, I, then I'm cool. Then I'm cool, guy. Ciao, Bella.